All right, guys, thigh stand. Possible fall. You can bring the knees together. Go the other way. Yeah. You're going to squat. The fall is, is, is if I'm on here and I start tipping maybe like to the side and I fall like on my head. Like that. Um, I also see the flyer not giving enough balance and the, I'm sorry, the base not giving enough balance back. The flyer giving too much weight back this way and pulls the forward, falling back this way. Um, so let's break it down and I'll show you how to go back to a lower position and make it feel really safe, okay? First position I'm going to do, I'm going to get here, uh, watch my knees. For me personally, it is easier to bring the knees together for this one because then I have something to push off of and it gives me more stability versus wide. And particularly for what we're doing later, which is a flag, you'll have to put the knees together so the feet can go across. Let me demonstrate first. So with Magda, again my knees, my feet are shoulder length but my knees are together, okay? She's going, and I need to get as low as possible. Common mistake is bases are too vertical. Get as horizontal as possible here in your thighs so that they can jump on. Another thing is if you have something slippery like pants like this, it'll be a little harder for a fly to get onto. So skin on skin is generally a lot easier, okay? So I'm gonna have she'll hop on one. Watch the grip here. Hey. I'm not here, I'm gripping closer to her elbows here. She needs to get onto me. A common mistake is flyers will jump on and they'll start leaning back right away and it pulls the base forward. You want as the flyer as you're jumping, hopping onto the base to get as close to them as possible vertically so that you're not pulling them forward yet until you slowly start to counterbalance. Okay? So she's going to step on my leg here. I even pull my pant leg up so she has a lot of skin. I'm staying as horizontal as possible. She jumps on. She stays vertical as possible. Then as she slowly leans away, we let go a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Her hips are forward, her shoulders are back. She looks up and I'm leaning back to counterbalance her weight. And we do that very, very slowly at first. You don't want to go too fast in the beginning, okay? So I'm staying as horizontal as possible, leaning back to counterbalance her weight. When did you separate your knees? I did, didn't I? As you did as you as you were leaning as they were leaning back. Yeah, I think as I was leaning back, I started to open them up. Um, let's try it with the knees just open. Let's see if there's a difference. Hopping on. She stays vertical. It feels okay. And slowly she leans back. This is the hard part. As we slowly extend, she slowly extends the arm. I slowly lean back as she leans back to counterbalance that way. And to come down, she'll slowly come back towards me. She's going to take her foot off at a time, come down. And as she's coming back towards me, it's going to tip my weight back this way too. So I'm constantly adjusting while she's adjusting. That's why it is very important that the flyer adjusts as slow as possible so that the base can have time to adjust too. So let's bring it down lower on the ground to start to where it feels super safe. Okay. So I'm going to get into a just a kneeling position on my shins. I'm gonna basically do the exact same thing, but, but low on the ground so she can feel what it feels like here. So start here first until you feel super comfortable. So grab the arms, she gets vertical, and she slowly leans back. And I slowly let go more in the hand until I hit toward more towards the wrist here. And this feels strong to me. And I'm countering my weight back as she counters back that way. And this will train you for the fly, if there's a fall, that she knows to take that foot off as soon as possible. And for the base to know to counter enough weight to where we're not lunging her forward, but gently letting her down. And it's her job to take a step off. Okay, questions? Give it a try? Sure.